Hey there, people of the internet. Thank you for joining me. My name is Nate. I am with Paradise RV. We are in Charleston, South Carolina. Today, I am going to be going over a 2024 Gulfstream Amerilite 26 GBH. That is a mouthful. All of them are. <laughs> so anyway, stick with me and we'll go through it. All right, so walking through the front here, you can just notice it feels very bright and spacious and modern, um, a little rustic tons of room to move around the master bedroom is great it has tons of storage space on either side for the wardrobes it has storage space underneath the bed and then a nice little shelf up above as well so there you go there's the shelf and here's the wardrobe and then additionally in front of the uh, the queen size bed there does feel to be more space than usual to walk around and this unit is a couple extra feet uh, comparative to its competitors as far as like the same floor plan um, this this floor plan is a very popular floor plan among a lot of manufacturers so the fact that they made it a little longer so you can get a little extra room in the bathroom and a little extra room in the front was uh, well thought out I think so right there you got two other sleeping options um, you got the couch and then you got the, the dinette there right over here we're going to focus on the kitchen the kitchen has tons of storage up above and below um, a good size sink yep and then right there is actually a lot of the specs so you can pause it and look through I believe the dry weight on this is around 5,500 pounds fully loaded if you have all your stuff in it it can hold up to about 2,800 so you're looking at 77 hundred pounds ish ballpark so uh, yeah, there's the dinette that folds into a bed. I also believe that there is storage underneath those dinette seats if you lift up the cushions. Right then, you got um, a Furion uh, AC unit. That's what I'm trying to get at. You also have a tankless water heater, and then you got your control panel there. Um, the tankless water heater is really nice. Those are great to have. Um, the, the wives seem to really like it. You can take very lengthy showers. Moving back to the kitchen, you do have a microwave right there um, above the stove, and then you got your 12 volt refrigerator, which cools pretty quick. Um, I only had the battery on for maybe 15, 20 minutes at this point, and it was already starting to get cool, uh, which is a great um, alternative to the old LP ones. And then you got these very spacious uh, bunks, and they do have USB chargers right there, and that's why I was kind of pointing at. And they have their own little light, and they got. I don't think this is the teddy bear mattress, but it's the same thing. So it's very. It also has storage down below, which is really nice, especially for the kiddos, for a lot of their things, toys, etc. The bathroom is nice and bright and big. Um, yeah, so you just have tons of space to kind of move around there. It does have its own little sink with a vanity. And then going back through here, you can just see a nice overview of the main area. Now we're going to go outside. Alright, so the outside, uh, pretty standard all things considered. Uh, the white is really nice um, up front. Uh, it does have two propane tanks. Um, our porter was going to get the other one filled. Here's a good shot of all that extra storage. And then you got your crank down stabilizers. Uh, you got a nice size awning. Um, Gulfstream does offer a three year structural warranty on the frame. Um, and then just giving a nice little shot of that. There's the tankless water heater, and then you got this giant cargo storage out underneath the bunks. I've seen some people put in um, little outdoor kitchens, so you can put a little mini fridge and a grill and stuff in there, or you could just use it for storage. I mean, you got some kiddos, so you always need storage for that. We have four, so I totally get it. And then coming around to the driver's side, you got all your standards features. You got your dump station there. You got your city water connect here in a second that is a 30 amp uh, cable it is dual axle you got your fresh water fill and you can see the the windows are tinted which is nice especially in the south helps to keep out some of that um, that harsh sun that that tends to beat down so there you go thanks for joining uh, if you have any questions at all drop them in the comments I'd be happy to answer any that you have there's also a link to our listing with all of the specs for you my name is Nate or RV Paradise have a great one